But let's take an example of silver chloride. All right, AgCl. Now, a lot of times it's written, you know, as a name. And honestly, the hardest part for most students is coming up with chemical formula in Chem 2 because we haven't done naming in so long. All right, so AgCl, solid, goes to Ag, silver ion, and chloride. All right, so as you guys can see, this is a solid. We have a different phase. Different phase. And then over here we have solution. Now the KSP expression for silver chloride, silver ion, chloride anion, and that happens to be 1.77 times 10 to minus 10. Not a very big number. So when we do this, we write the equilibrium constant expression for those components in solution. With respect to the system in solution, All right, the amount of solid silver chloride present is irrelevant. as long as there is at least some present when equilibrium is reached. All right, so it does not matter the amount of silver chloride as long as there is some still there. Now, a little note. A lot of times in Chem 1, when we say solubility, we mean molarity. Not always, but most of the time. Now, it could be a mass per mass. Like we did beginning so many grams, like 357 grams of sodium chloride per 1,000 grams of water. But most of the time, solubility will be molarity. So, a little example. What is the solubility of silver chloride? All right, if KSP is equal to 1.77 times 10 to minus 10, we get to make an ice table. You're thrilled, I know. So silver chloride. All right, and this ionizes into silver ion and chloride anion. Ice table, I, C, E. Initially, how much silver chloride do we have? We don't know. We have to have some. As long as we have some, make it all the way to the end, we're good. We know we have zero silver ion and zero chloride. 
some will dissolve. So at equilibrium, I have X and I have X. That's my concentration. Throw it into our KSP expression. KSP is equal to silver ion multiplied by the concentration of chloride anion. So 1.77 times 10 to the minus 10 equals x times x or x squared. All right, so we're writing that out. 1.77 times 10 to the negative 10 equals x squared. Take the square root of both sides. Your constant x would equal 1.33 times 10 to the negative 5, and that's a molarity. All right, now x represents what? Your chloride concentration and your silver concentration. So x represents my concentration of silver ion, my concentration of chloride anion, and since everything's a one to one to one ratio, it also represents how much silver chloride dissolves. And so that's what we want. Another quick example here. All right. We're going to say to do the opposite. The solubility of silver iodide is 1.22 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. What is the value of KSP? For silver iodide. Good question. All right, so we know the concentration of AGI. How do I know it's AGI? AG is plus one, I is minus one, one to one ratio is 1.22 times 10 to negative 8 molar. We're looking for KSP. All right, so I will write down my equilibrium constant expression, AGI solid, goes back and forth with silver ion in solution and iodide in solution. Ice table. We just have to have some. As long as we have some, we're good. We know that it's a one to one to one ratio. So the concentration of silver ion equals the concentration of iodide ion, right? And so they're both 1.22 times 10 to the minus eight molar. So if that's the case, let's put it into our expression. Our equilibrium constant expression, KSP, is equal to silver ion multiplied concentration of iodine. Or, yeah, iodine. We don't know what KSP is, but we do know we have 1.22 times 10 to the minus 8 molar silver ion and 1.22 times 10 to the minus 8 molar iodine. So it means KSP will equal 1.49 times 10 to the negative 16th. Tiny number, but it's not zero. It's not zero. All right. The last example I want to talk about is the situation... is a little more complicated if the stoichiometry of the salt is not one to one.
All right, so for example, what is the solubility or molarity of silver chromate? If KSP is 1.12 times 10 to the minus 12. All right, well, the first thing, what is silver chromate? And if, again, if you need to write down silver is AG plus chromate, CRO4, 2 minus. Well, silver chromate, I know what the formula is now. All right, so AG2CRO4 solid is in equilibrium with 2 AG plus AQ plus CRO4 2 minus is in solution. Now, that's important. we got to have this 2 here. This 2, I'm going to highlight it. This 2 is very important. All right, ice table. We have to have some here. Zero, zero, plus two x, x. So in equilibrium, two x and x. Our KSP expression will be equal to the concentration of silver ion squared times the concentration of chromate. Right? Because that's how we write the equilibrium constant. So, that means KSP happens to be 1.12 times 10 to the negative 12th equals silver is 2x and that's squared and chromate is x. That may look redundant at first glance. It's not redundant. It's not a mistake. All right? Because the concentration of silver is going to be double chromate. If chromate is 5, silver is 10. And it's still squared. So it works out. So 1.12 times 10 to the negative 12 is equal to... Now this, take a deep breath when you do this. Make sure we do everything in this. It's easy to forget something. So the 2 squared is 4. We have x squared times x. x cubed. That's... I always make a deep breath when we do that. All right. To solve, I take 1.12 times 10 to the negative 12, divide it by 4, and take the cubed root. Cube root. If you have a TI-83 or 4 calculator, it's like second math. I think it's second math or math, and it's like the fourth one down. All right, but it's in the math command of the of the calculator. If we do this, x turns out to be the concentration of chromate and the concentration of silver chromate, which is 1.31. I'm sorry, 6.54 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. 2x is the silver ion, which happens to be 1.31 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. So those are some examples of heterogeneous